teaching us about radical repentance, I'm going to go after that. Like, just cut it off quick, Come quick. On, right. Luke, I just want to thank you so much for you and Frankie just like, you know, giving me the chance to actually preach today. I really appreciate that. Um, and just like to really show the, the sisters, give Chris, this is my convictions on like, you know, my church. Okay. Um, the title of my charge I have been given today is um, Radical Evangelism. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Firstly, let's break it down. Okay, Radical Evangelism, evangelism um, what does it mean to be radical? Radical means to be extreme or to be crazy. Mm. Or like to like even, um, uh, in some cases, like um, delusional. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, to be an extremist. Um, do you know, so you, you know, some people say like, oh my gosh, you know, um, she's so extra, oh my gosh, she's so, she's too much, she's doing too much, yeah? Like, that's kind of what it means to be radical, like, you know what, those girls, those girls are doing too much. Um, now, what does, it, what does evangelism mean? Evangelism means, evangelism means to preach the gospel, right? So let's turn our Bibles to Matthew 10, on, verses 1. <clears throat> and the Bible says, amen when you get there, amen. 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 The Bible says, um, Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every um, disease and illnesses. Um, yeah, so Jesus gave them authority. Like, so it means that Jesus gave them permission. So remember, we're all disciples, right? So God is also, Jesus is also giving us authority to actually like, you know, evangelize and like, to just be like radical with it as well, to be extreme as possible, to like, you know, like, yeah, he's basically giving us permission to do whatever we want. Like, obviously, as long as it's godly, but, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, but he's given, like, for the women anyways, he's given us authority to actually heal the lost women in Dublin. So I, I'm kind of, like, relating, like, the d- diseases and, like, illnesses as, like, people literally being, like, lost because, like, that's literally an illness, you know. That's, like, a sickness because they're going to hell, which is not good. Um, and in Mark 16, you guys don't have to turn there, verses 15, um, Jesus says to his disciples, go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So we already know, like, whenever Jesus repeats himself, and he said it so many times that we need to, you know, make disciples of all nations, all that stuff, he's, like, it's, it's of high importance if he says it a lot of times. Um, yeah, so, yeah. To successfully evangelize Ireland, we need to be extreme uh, or even, like, del- um, delusional to an extent. Everyone who is the best in their field, has done something radical to actually get there in the first place. Think about some of your favorite artists, basketball players, football players, you know, um, like they've all done something radical to actually like get there, to get to where they are right now. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about Reddit. Do you guys know about Reddit? Yeah, you know Reddit? Yeah. Um, Reddit was first launched in 2005, and it wasn't very first successful at, at the start. It was like, um, it had like very little visitors on their page and all that stuff. And so the founders, right, they actually came up with the plan to like make like fake accounts, which is like so cool. And like they would, they would comment and like kind of make like engage in it. And then they would like reply back. But they were doing that for a little while, a little while and then that kind of paid off, if that makes sense. So um, like the, they faked it till they made it and then they kind of stirred up the, their pot of engagement. Um, yeah, but their hard work actually paid off because now Reddit has over 60, 2.5 million users, right? Wow. And they also have like 10 billion in revenues. So that's really cool. Wow. Um, today I'm calling every sister to be as radical and creative with their evangelism. Like the Reddit founders, for example, stop letting fear actually like, you know, stop you from being radical. Um, uh, like, aren't you trying to do something radical, radical for God, if that makes sense? Um, yeah, God is, you know, God, um, sorry, Jesus literally has one of the most radical ex- executions as well. So he's already a radical man on his own. Um, yeah, being radical actually produces fruit as well. And my practical for everyone is to take a bit of time out tomorrow or just later on in the week and to brainstorm like the most radical way that they could actually share their faith. Um, so I know Maria one time, she, um, she was on a plane and she stood up and she screamed to everyone to like ask them if you want to come to church. That's really cool. So I want, I want, to, I want, to, I want everyone to think about something that's actually going to like that is the, out of their comfort zone. Yeah, but just, just to show God how much you love him. But just, just more. All right, thank you.